12 weapons found at Market Square during Fiesta, a story we first broke last night on Fox News at 9. Yeah, tonight our Yami Virheen shows us some of those arrested for unlawful carrying of a weapon before and after two people were shot and killed at Market Square. In an exclusive report, Fox SA last night reported that 12 guns had been confiscated during Fiesta at Market Square. Tonight, we're taking a closer look at some of those cases that happened before and after 18-year-old Mikey Valdez and 20-year-old Albert Cisneros lost their lives in the middle of Market Square. On Saturday, the 27th at 1130 p.m., officers arrested William Rosales. Rosales was spotted by a detective with a Texas anti-gang unit during a fight that had broken out at Market Square. Rosales, according to the report, had a gun pointed to the back of a woman in front of him. Officers wrestled him to the ground and took his gun with an extended magazine. The report says Rosales is a convicted felon and a gang member. His girlfriend, who also had a firearm, said they were just walking away from where the fights had broken out. An hour and 18 minutes before the shootout that killed Valdez and Cisneros, officers spotted Joshua Hernandez after someone told them they had seen him with a weapon. The SAPD report states that Hernandez had his hand on the handguard of his firearm when they took him into custody and charged him with unlawful carry. After that shooting around 12.39 a.m., now on the 28th, on the corner of Dolorosa and Santa Rosa, officers saw Ernest Sepulveda and another man arguing. Police say they were drunk and not following orders, so they arrested both, and that is when officers found a weapon on Sepulveda. But the first two cases happened eight days before. On April 20th, closer to Milan Park, a block away from Market Square, where the event was expanded to this year. Police arrested 18-year-old Jeremiah Day and 17-year-old Marcus Foster just before midnight because a quick-acting citizen reported seeing a suspicious person with a gun in a fanny pack. Day and Foster both were standing in a group and each had a fanny pack. Officers say in their report that they saw the weapon and the magazine hanging out of one of them. When police searched, they found glocks on both of them. They both had warrants for possession of marijuana and carrying a concealed weapon. Six firearms were picked up from these cases. Fox SA has asked SAPD to send us more information on the other six guns that were confiscated. Jamie Virgen, Fox SA.